Hi guys, I'm Sean. This is Alyssa. Gus is in our hearts. hearts and this is in our rabbit hole daily. Congratulations, India. That's right. It's what? been a What's successful that? space mission. Sorry, the, the sound effect had a... Was oh. that weird? Oh, I don't know. Okay, it sounded weird. <laughs> oh, okay. See, it's because it's been a while. That's right, guys. Alyssa's back, uh, and we're doing this together now. We just watched the video. Uh, it was a Drove Rathy video that went into all sorts of detail on basically a the history of, of uh, people landing on the moon. A lot of detail. Yeah. And, now and we're just ready to watch Alyssa the moon landing. Alyssa got a little landing. worn out, but... Uh, it's been like... 35 minutes. I know, we I know. We still haven't seen the land, the thing land. So let's get so into this. So let's watch it. This is from BBC News. Yeah. India moon landing. Shadrayan 3 spacecraft lands near South Pole. Cool. India is the first country in the world to land a spacecraft the first near the moon's South Pole. Near a the moment South Pole. Of the history first country the ever. It Huge. was a tense That's a big final victory. six minutes as it descended onto the lunar surface. Let's show you the moment. First of all, let's take you inside. Oh the man, can you imagine room. the relief, the joy? Landing. Remember, this was an uncrewed spacecraft, so no one on board, everything controlled from here in the control room. And I just can't to wait to see everyone going see, nuts. Prime Minister yeah. Narendra Modi wasn't there, so he was being beamed in on a screen to ah. watch. Oh. Also on the screen was a graphic, computer-generated representation of the lander as it descended. Right. Let's now take a moment that happened. Oh, we get to see him react. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Must have just been such a wonderful sound to his ears. Wait, did it land? Yeah. Wait, what? Well, we thought we were going to see the moments before. We, I, I, don't, I don't know that we, we're going to get a chance they to see it They just jumped right in. Land, like, this is it. This land? is sort of a computer-generated image that represents its landing. So so we're still not actually seeing it actually I, land. I, I don't think that that, that footage is available. When are we going to see it? I, we're, we're just enjoying Come the on. fact that it has landed and that at some point here we're going to okay. be getting footage and information from the surface. So Okay. Oh, okay, I see the legs digging now. But that's a computer-generated yeah, version. Yeah. Because if you think about it, you'd have to have another thing filming it, right? Yeah, they don't have that, right? Wow. Ah! <laughs> He's waving his little mini flag. That's cool. <laughs> so you can see the cheers, the celebrations, landing on that part of the moon. He's got the a deadpan, though. Task, and you can see there the end of He's just like... Uh, very happy waving that flag. <laughs> Let's hear uh, what he said. Friends, serious guy. On yeah. this joyous occasion, I would like He's to speaking English. Yeah, I haven't heard him speak English. I don't think. All the people of the world, the people of every country and region, India's successful moon mission mm -hmm. is not just India's alone. That this is a year in which the world is witnessing India's G20 presidency. Our approach of one earth, one family, ah. one future ah. is resonating across the globe. So they've used this to, to talk about a message of unity. This human-centric mm -hmm. approach human center that okay. we present and that we represent had been welcome universally our moon mission is also based on the same human centric approach therefore this success belongs to all of humanity mm. and it will help moon missions by other countries That's in right. the yep. future. I'm confident that all countries in the world, including those from the global south, are capable of achieving such feats. That's encouraging. We can all aspire mm -hmm. for the moon and beyond. 
Well, the BBC's Arch Shukla is at a planetarium in Mumbai. Wow. Uh, what a moment. Uh, India is now on the moon, in the words of the Prime Minister. What a moment for the country. That's a big microphone. Yeah. It's certainly a very proud moment for people here in India as, uh, as the country created history to be the first one uh, to land on the south pole of the moon yeah. um, and uh, contribute to the global space research uh, with such important uh, aspects. And, uh, you know, this is important. And, and you know, uh, there were scenes of jubilation, people ch chanting uh, patriotic slogans, yeah, hugging, no distributing sweets, because it's a, Opening it's a the moment champagne. of joy and a moment of pride for everybody around. Um, it also brings India up on the ladder uh, to be part of the elite club of just four countries to have made a soft landing on the moon um, and also uh, takes it, uh, uh, gives it a credible approach and a credible push to the cost competitive space engineering that India has been doing. Um, after the failure in 2019, um, it was really an important attempt by India to position itself. Uh, remember, it's just been four years that uh, three years that India has opened up the space uh, industry for private uh, uh, players here because the government wants to make the space economy a larger portion and, and expand it and we've already seen the startups coming into this space like an Indian in Elon number, Musk or something <laughs> and yeah. that is the kind of interest that's coming in and when we were talking oh, so to cool. uh, you know enthusiasts people especially even young um, uh, you know audiences who were here to watch the live screening they were all talking about the prospects this builds for India uh, to grow in the space economy, uh, to build on from here and also uh, build more jobs around the space uh, sector uh, for youth coming in. So on a lot of accounts, this is a historic moment for India as well as for the world and India's contribution into the space um, uh, research. And it sounds like they're yeah, just they're getting huge started. Yeah. Yeah. Landing in this part of the moon, the south, near the south uh, pole because it's so much harder to land there than near the equator as has been done before but it's not over is it people are still watching because the landing has taken place the next step is the rover rolling out of the lander and on its wheels yeah, like then what if going it finds out on ice, a little explore like, yeah. that's what's coming up next Absolutely. The rover is going to spend, the lander, Vikram lander and the rover are going to spend one lunar day, which is equal to 14 Earth days, on the uh, moon's south pole, uh, uh, collecting, uh, uh, you know, data from, uh, from, the, from the surface, collecting uh, evidence, looking at the craters, looking at uh, the moon quakes, uh, gathering information, and most importantly, looking for water on the lunar surface, especially on the south pole, which is considered by scientists as one of the most valuable assets on the moon because that uh, scientists say will pave the way for it's crazy. I think uh, human it's taken this habitation long to get there, on the moon you know? in the human future habitation. and it would also support more lunar explorations and missions in the but future. But we're actually um, we're and, actually and serious about humans living on the moon. Sure, yeah, if you if you've got water Why? then uh, well, I, I, I it gets to like minus 200 something degrees <laughs> only Celsius at, night, at only night. night. Yeah, I you know, I'm I'm not so sure how that would work to tell you the truth. But of course people have been talking about their being some sort of uh, man-made uh, uh, structure on the moon at some point that well, people How are you going to get food just because you have water? You could eat moon rocks. <laughs> of course, you'd have. To, uh, there's a lot of shit to figure out, which is why it hasn't been done yet. Is something uh, uh, to look out for in the la in the next 14 days. Uh, one thing that ISRO pointed out, uh, you know, they said that the last mission in 2019 was focused on success, and this mission was focused on failure. So it was a failure-oriented mission, which means oh. they had built in for all the failures that could uh, oh, come, okay. and, they were and well that prepared. has added to yeah, the success. Yeah. And this is also what will support the exploration in the next 14 days uh, with the payloads, with the scientific instruments that are on Vikram lander that would be collecting uh, a material and matter uh, and data, uh, not only for the world, uh, not only for India, but for the world when it comes to lunar explorations. Archana, great stuff. Thank you very much for that. Let's speak now to Dr. Raji Raja Gopalan, the director of the Center for Security, Strategy and Technology at the Observer Research Foundation in Delhi, which is a think tank. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So so how important is this then for India? 
this is of course an important moment for india it's a matter of pride uh, as was mentioned but it's also a demonstration of the growing sophistication uh, growing maturity of india space program uh, in it because india when it began its space program interplanetary missions or deep space missions like chandrayaan were not part of the uh, indian space goals but clearly india has matured in terms of its capabilities it has Uh, develop advanced capabilities, deep space communication capabilities, and so on. So this is a demonstration. This is a validation of many of the advanced technologies that uh, that mm-hmm. India has, uh, the Indian Space Agency has developed and put in place. And because these are still very complex missions, uh, very challenging in terms of um, you know you could go th- uh, things could go wrong at the very last minute, as was seen Any in the case of uh, just, just a few days the whole Russian mission, mission Luna 25, or even in 2019, what happened to India's Chandrayaan 2 mission. or even few days prior to that you had an Israeli uh, firm that was uh, 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 undertaking a similar mission again crash landed um so these are these just goes to show that muluna missions are still very complicated very complex mission uh, and uh, challenging so uh, if you get uh, it uh, right that's fantastic it, it it's it's hugely challenging mm-hmm. and and delighted as uh, well so many people will be delighted uh, of the success right. so far I just want to talk to you about the cost because yeah, of this is where money, people well, really get amazed. Are. But actually, yeah. relatively speaking, India has yeah. not spent a great deal of money on this. Is that significant? Yeah, that is absolutely significant. But I think we also uh, so uh, and the the cost for the Chandrayaan two was about close to about 150 million. and if you we were to compare with other similar missions that are undertaken india's uh india so the third one was cheaper very, very like by half one oh, fifth or one least. tenth of other such one missions one fifth or one But tenth of other countries are also at oh. this point of time more of a technology demonstrator and uh, not a large scientific mission that many of the other advanced space players may be doing nevertheless india's attempt is at not duplicating what replicating what others have done but complementing yeah, doing it more efficient so in a sense we are not sort landing we no? india decided to land to do a soft landing on the southern pole of the moon again is a decision that is taken by uh, because we want to expand the humanity's understanding of the lunar surface uh, in terms of the sort of study of the rocks study of the chemicals chemical components the element in, in uh, elements in, in the lunar surface and of course the um uh, water ice on the on the moon i think that's been an uh, that's been an area of uh, curiosity uh, to a large number of a large number of folks in the scientific community across the world not just to the uh, indian you know, scientific water, community or the isro is life? um so i think Was these are uh, things that are going to be done but i think it does have also some uh, spin off benefits in terms of even in the financial terms when you look at it because when india undertook the chandrayaan mission first one in 2008 or when uh, it did the mangalyaan the mars mission in 23 uh, 2013 2014 i think that was where Again, mission mango highlighted that india's was, space uh, program that. that it's it's a cost effective space program but capable yeah. of undertaking complex missions yeah. um so i think india has established therefore as a credible space power in that sense dr raji uh, rajagopal thank you very much for coming on the program thank you thank you thank you I just give you a heads up about exactly what does happen next. I was talking about that rover, smaller vehicle which is inside uh, the aircraft that landed. Uh that once the dust has settled, I think the quite dust has settled quite literally, literally. Ah! Inside, <laughs> a couple of hours breathing space, then they're going to try and deploy that wow. uh, rover across uh the moon. Yeah, when does that happen at? As and when yeah. that, that already happens, start happening? Jeez. That is so oh. cool. It reminds me of uh was it the rocket launch video we watched where they brought up that comic who was the artist that did the comic that was like mocking India's space Oh yeah when they were sort of teasing India like not taking them seriously yeah. at all it's like yeah. look at them now Yeah I know hey they must be uh beyond embarrassed and, and yeah, ashamed that they ever made those statements guy. Yeah Yeah no it's uh I mean I think that other countries are taking note because India has been able to do something incredibly difficult but that what like what yeah. she's saying at 1/5 one on tenth of the cost so I mean if I you could send she... 10 times as many things for the same price my goodness the third sh- this this mission wasn't is it 70 million or so was it 73 I, you million you know i didn't Isn't i didn't get said? the exact uh number but i oh, i thought that's what it said and then i thought she said the second one the chandrayaan 2 was, was like 150, 150. that's what yeah. i'm saying it's like it's like half 
the amount of the second wow. one. And, and but they're you... using the second uh, orbit craft to in conjunction with this mission with the photos and they're using that yeah, prior yeah, yeah. one and, to and, help. and if you consider you know uh the big blockbuster films these days are 200 mm -hmm. million dollars plus it's it's an absolute bargain um and i think weren't you telling me a little bit of a fun fact there uh about but, the price oh it's is it less than the barbie movie yeah. wasn't the barbie movie like a hundred million or something or at yeah, least? yeah so so it cost less to send something to the moon than it did to make a movie about barbie so uh, you know, it's definitely they're stretching those dollars. Wow, a hundred and forty-five million dollars for the Barbie movie. Jeez, and and you know, I don't think that includes all of the money that they've they've spent. You know, to put out the commercials and the ads and uh, seventy-four million. Yeah. Jeez, yeah, less less <laughs> money than the space thriller Gravity. My goodness, yeah, the Barbie movie's double. God, eh? <laughs> Yeah. The things we do here in the I West know. I, I know. With the money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're spending way too Anyone much. Anyone seen the Barbie movie? Yeah, geez. Well, I'd rather find out if there's water on the moon, quite frankly, or, or find out if there's ice, rather. Um, but that yeah. is way too cool. Congratulations, India. Uh, this is definitely a feather in the cap, as they say. And I'm just so excited to see what sort of information we get here. Um, so we could see some really big headlines yeah. in the next few days as the rover, you know, kind of creeps onto the surface. Uh, surface and starts measuring things. Now, I thought if, if you have the one thing called Vic Vikram, could we have the rover named Kathy? And would that kind of... Okay, never <laughs> mind, never mind. Some of yeah, you how'd they I'm come saying. up with the name? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I think it already it. has a name, but it's not Kathy. Uh, but yeah. uh, anyways... Um, that was really Thank cool you guys stuff. so much. Uh, congratulations. But they didn't show the, did they show the photo? Kind of. Let's just look at some photos oh. again. I saw them in the article I read, but oh, I want okay. to see them again. Okay. The first image from the moon's surface. But there's uh, a this kind of looks like a piece just looks like rock so <laughs> it's actually not not as impressive as wait, what were you expecting like <laughs> a little know. green alien waving at the camera i don't know maybe yeah <laughs> yeah so uh anyways folks looks like how it would have You'd expect it well, to yeah, well, look, I guess. Well, yeah, because we've seen lots of images of the moon. But what we're Anyways. interested in is finding out what the composition of oh, wait, uh, we do the need South to Pole is. So. Congratulations uh. to India. <laughs> yeah. You hear that? And the sound of victory right there. <laughs> That's so. right. And if you want to stay tuned, you're going to want to click that subscribe button. Click the bell. Choose all from drop downs to get updated every time we upload. If you enjoyed this video, click the thumbs up. Comment down below. And we love Congrats you Congrats again to India. Yeah. Love you guys. This is Internet Rabbit Hole Daily. I already signed off. off. Bye. Bye, guys.